Hey, welcome back everyone, Old Bubs here, and today I have a very exciting, albeit brief, little unboxing and first impressions video of a knife that I am very excited to share with you and to check out for myself. This actually got delayed and sent to the wrong address before it finally made its way to me, but now it has found its way home and I get to share it with you. This is gonna be a pretty cool little knife. All right, see this? We have the Burnley Squid 2. Now this is actually really interesting and important to note that the Squid was an ultra popular budget knife. Oh, it comes with a patch. That is a really cool looking patch. Man, that's exciting little nice leather case oh. check it out this one is the frag grenade pattern little silica gel keep things frame lock with this bronze hardware gold or bronze that nice stonewash on the blade this one is m390 made in Italy so the Squid was a popular budget knife made by CRKT. And then a few months back, the Squid 2 came out and was still under a CRKT brand. And those were also made in Italy. But then this is now released under the Burnley label. You can see here on the box, saying Burnley in Bend, Oregon. Lucas Burnley is the maker here, and part of what drew me to this knife is that the squid was a super interesting design to me, but I didn't have much interest in a, a steel frame lock with 8CR. And then um, I saw some videos with Mr. Lucas Burnley, and he seemed like he was just a, a good dude trying to make good knives. And so I thought I'd pick this one up so you can have a look before you have to make an informed decision on whether or not this one is for you. So let's put it on a scale, see how much it weighs. Got three and a quarter ounces. In hand, it does not feel heavy to me at all. Definitely a knife that you feel like it's there. Ergonomically on the first impression, that actually feels really, really good in my hand. For those of you who have regulations against blade size, bless your hearts and rejoice. This one does come in under three inches and the cutting edge is right at about three inches. Overall here, we're looking right at about seven inches with this guy here. This is a medium sized knife. But I'll tell you that feels nice. Thumbs does the forward flick, works great. Feels a little bit. Feels a little bit thick behind the edge, but not too bad. As far as looks are concerned, this grenade frag pattern on the G10 really does look super cool to me. I was drawn to this one. As of right now, some of these are sold out on Blade HQ, but this one with the frag G10 pattern is still available. As far as I know, obviously it will sell out, but hopefully this video gives you an opportunity to check these out for if they come out under the Burnley label again. Now before we do a cut test and some size comparisons, I have been working super hard and investing a great deal of personal resources into bringing you valuable content and content that's as engaging and helpful to you as possible. If it would so behoove you to click or tap that subscribe button below this video, it would mean the world to me personally, but not only that, it serves as an indicator that the content that I'm bringing you is indeed valuable, and it tells the YouTube algorithm that other folks should be watching my channel. At the very least, if you wouldn't mind, give that like button a little boop boop. So some size comparisons here. Here this is against a Spyderco Para 3 Pivot to Pivot. You can see that that is a very, very similar knife size, which by my estimation is a great EDC profile. You can see here 
that this squid is a little bit thinner at the shoulders. This para three is a little wider in these titanium scales from Flytanium. But I mean, I love the way that this knife looks and performs. Next up, let's take a look next to a Benchmade bug out. Slide those up there. Again, this is the class that this knife is in. It's trying to be a really reasonable EDC size. Here we go against a Demco 80 20.5, which is clearly a little bit larger, but this is the class of knife that we're looking at. Now, the price on this knife is going to get a lot of people. This little guy is gonna set you back tree fitty, and you are working with titanium, an M390 on a frame lock design, running on bearings, you know the classics, we're centered it looks like. First impressions it feels like fit and finish is, is nice. Duh. That price is going to trip up a lot of people because this was a budget knife that was costing you about $30 in the Squid 1. Uh, but a lot of people had issues with quality and QC that CRKT was bringing to the table. So I think time will tell on this knife released by Burnley if this is a knife that's worth that price tag, worth the investment, or not. Now, this is not a review. This is just my first impressions unboxing this knife, taking a look at it with you all. Let's cut a damp shoe catalog piece of paper. Oh, that cuts really, really nice. Wow, yeah, that edge geometry is great. That's better than I expected for sure. Wow. Look at those little curlies. That is thoroughly impressive. Wow, that is cutting really well. I'm impressed with that factory edge. This blade shape is obviously like a little potato, but you know, it just goes, it fits. Stay tuned for a full comprehensive review of this knife after I let it ride shotgun in the pocket for a couple weeks and give you my overall thoughts on this knife so you can see if it is one that's for you or one that you want to pass on. Above all else, I hope that you let love and light fill your life. Stay sharp out there. We'll see you next time.